Welcome to the introduction of the video series on NASA's Spice Enhanced Cosmographia Tutorials for Space Mission Visualizations. In this series, we will be demonstrating how to use Python scripts, JSON configs, and Spice kernels and utilities in order to create your own visualizations to be able to better tell the story of your space missions for design reviews, whether they be Earth-based or in deep space. The animation you see on the left is using Europa Clipper trajectory data as it is first arriving at Jupiter, doing a flyby of Ganymede, and then performing a Jupiter orbit insertion maneuver. On the right are two scripts. The first is a Python script that controls the animation sequence, and the other is a text-based script that is an input to the spice utility named Predict, which creates a binary attitude quaternion spice kernel that is read in by Cosmographia. We'll be going over two different types of missions in this video. One is using Europa Clipper data to demonstrate a mission to an outer planet, and the other will be a low Earth orbit mission from launch to conops to deorbit. We'll also be showing sneak peeks of the necessary software in order to create these animations, and as extras, we are also including one animation of the OSIRIS-REx Terminator orbit and one of NASA's published near-rectilinear halo orbit for the Orion spacecraft around the moon. At Nabla Zero Labs, this is one of the many services we offer to our clients. So if you would like to get these types of space mission visualizations made in a timely manner for your company, let's get in contact. Starting with the Earth-based mission, here we have the rocket launch sequence from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where we show the rocket launch with the first stage on a ballistic trajectory back to the Atlantic Ocean and the first few orbits of the spacecraft mission. And note that this scene is in the Earth-centered Earth fix frame IAU Earth, so we can visualize what the ground tracks look like. Next is an example of a number of different orbits modeled in the Earth-centered inertial frame EME-2000, or sometimes referred to as J-2000. Next up is an example scene of an Earth-observing spacecraft conops between pointing its solar cells at the sun and an instrument nadir to the Earth. Initially, the spacecraft has its solar panels pointed normal to the sun vector, then rotates its body such that the x-axis points nadir, takes images of the Earth's surface illustrated by the instrument frustum, and then again returns to solar panels pointed at the sun. Finally comes the end of life of the spacecraft, where this scene shows a sun-synchronous spacecraft deorbiting using a low-thrust engine, lowering its altitude enough to burn up in the atmosphere after about one month. But of course, these animations can be tailored to your company's specific conops. So you can notice on the menu at the bottom of the screen where we can see the altitude steadily decreasing. Next up is a deep space mission, where we begin with Europa Clipper performing its departing burn from Earth. In Cosmographia, the engine plumes can be modeled as particle systems, as is shown on the right in the JSON config file. In this case, we are using the proposed Europa Clipper trajectory that is a direct Earth to Jupiter transfer with no flybys, where in this scene we can see a trajectory from the positive Z axis of the ecliptic inertial reference frame. Next is a tour scene demonstrating how Europa Clipper will be using Ganymede flybys to adjust its orbit and then doing a number of flybys of Europa. And this video only covers the first roughly two years of the tour, but of course the entire tour could be covered if desired. And finally, here is a scene of a Europa flyby where we demonstrate how instrument thrust stems and observations on Europa's surface can be modeled in Cosmographia. For the bonus scenes, on the left is OSIRIS-REx maneuvering around Bennu and then inserting itself into a Terminator orbit, and on the right is a published near-rectilineal halo orbit proposed by NASA for the Orion spacecraft around the moon, modeled in the Earth-Moon rotating reference frame. Let us know what you thought about these visualizations in the comments and which tutorials you would like to see in the video series. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.